Hi, and welcome back to the next Unity tutorial video. In this video, we're going to continue going over some more of the user interface. Um, specifically, we're going to talk about these different windows that you have opened on your screen. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is go over to the top right and click on the button and select 2 by 3 And that's going to position all the windows like this if you do not have them. All right, and then the next thing I want you to do is go up to the top and click on Window and then drag this console out and it appears out in the window over here and you can click on the tab and bring it over to another position. You can create uh, your own layout by maneuvering these windows but we're not going to go into that too much. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is go to game object and then go to create other and go and select cube and that's going to make a cube uh, in your hierarchy, if you double click it, it will bring you up to your object. And then if you press the WASD characters uh, holding down the right mouse button, you'll be able to move around in this scene view. Um, some of the other things in your scene view, you can toggle on a lighting to see how it looks when it's lit and unlit. You can toggle on this floor so you can see different objects and if you ever get lost you can just double click the object and it'll bring you back. Um, you can also view you have different other views up here Alpha, Overdraw, Max, and RBG. I prefer RBG, RGB and uh, you, can, you can view it as a wireframe if you want. So there's, there's a bunch of cool stuff in there. Um, another thing is in your game view and your game view will show what you're going to see in your game. So if you press play, play, you will see it doesn't really do anything right now. It's just a cube shadow on the background. Um, if you click on the cube, you'll see these little arrows that come out of it. And you can you can drag on them by clicking the arrow and removing your mouse. And that will position the cube in that axis. You can also click on the middle and then move it around like that. So there's a bunch of different ways to move it. Up here, you can click on one of these icons. This The hand icon allows you to pan and move your camera around like that. The directional arrows is the one that moves it. The rotating arrows is the one that allows you to spin your cube and rotate it. And then the arrows that point outwards allows you to size the object in the different directions. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is your inspector. So your inspector has something called a transform and in your transform it says position, rotation, and scale. Position is the position of the object in the game world. So we can set this to 0, 0, 0. Um, the rotation of that object, so you can set these to 0, 2. And then the scale and if you set these all to 1, you can get your cube back to how it was when you originally had it. Uh, so this cube also has a box collider, and this box collider is the green thing that is around it. Um, you can toggle that off by clicking on this thing. And these little check boxes on, these, on the component details whether or not it's enabled. So you can turn the entire cube off. You can turn off the mesh renderer, and that was just a collider. Um, so, in your hierarchy, you can also create, from this little button up here, you can create another cube. I'm going to position this one slightly above this cube. And we're going to attach a rigid body to it. And rigid bodies are Unity's way, way of expressing physical objects. So when I press, press play, play now, it's going to drop down from the screen and onto the other box. And then if I select this box collider and I turn it to a trigger, it will fall through it. Because triggers do not uh, physically collide with other objects. And if you press play again after it's done, everything resets. And that also includes any changes you made during the play session. 
Um, another really important thing about the hierarchy is parenting. So if you click on the cube and then drag it on top of another cube, you'll see that this cube now has a little arrow. If you click the arrow and you'll see that this cube is underneath this cube. And the important thing about this is that um, I can move this cube around like this, right, freely. And if I click on this parent cube, it, I move them both together. And this is a way of organizing your work and making relationships between different objects. All right, so in your project folder, this is where you're going to store all your assets. And this is how you're going to access them from Unity. Um, the most important thing about this is that you create a folder and call it resources with a capital capital R and this folder is important is because it is the folder that you can access in your coding um, so anything that you put in here you'll be able to actually use when you start scripting them um, an example of an asset you can make if you right click on the asset folder you can go to create and you can go to a material we'll just I'll leave it at that name and we're going to color this red and we're going to you can drag this material onto a cube and now it is colored see. Um, and that is going to cover it for this uh, video Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, click on any of the links on the screen to view our other videos and be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.